Hey guys, this is TJ from PC Gamer, and today I'm going to tell you why you should play Planescape Torment. It's a game that's recently come back onto a lot of people's radars with the success of the Kickstarter for Torment Tides of Numenera, the spiritual successor or thematic continuation or whatever they're calling it these days. I, I actually didn't discover this game until last year, 12 years after its original release. Uh, for those of you that might not be familiar with it, it's, you know, it's an old school top-down isometric RPG from Black Isle Studios. And so as a game that came out 12 years ago, I'm sure you want to know, is this something that holds up outside of people who have nostalgia for it, which I didn't? Well, the answer in this case is yes. Obviously, as you can see, the graphics are nothing to write home about. Uh, the interface is also very 1999, but it doesn't take as much getting used to as, say, some of the older Fallout titles. But Planescape Torment isn't about graphics, or RPG mechanics even. The combat system is both pretty rudimentary and usually optional. It's about story. And this game has some of the deepest, most mature, and most thought-provoking storytelling you can find in any title. It asks the question, what can change the nature of a man? In contrast to a lot of modern shooters, which ask the question, how many guys can you gun down in 30 seconds? Where it really sinks its hooks into you, though, is where it actually makes you consider the motivations behind your decision and examine yourself outside of the context of the game. More recent games, such as Mass Effect and Dragon Age, have done these kinds of things, too, but Planescape set the trend, and it has more of them, and in some cases they're even more gut-wrenching and relentless. You. What is it that brings you here? Have you come to see firsthand the misery you have wrought? Perhaps in death I still hold some shrewd use for you. I Even brief interactions with relatively minor characters have kept me awake, pondering why I did what I did and whether I made the right decision. More than once I've been forced to stand up and pace back and forth across the room before making a choice. It has the burden of Dungeons & Dragons' clunky, absolutist alignment system, but it actually makes it work. It deconstructs what it means to be good, evil, or neutral, and questions of the very nature of those terms and how they're defined. In the level of self-reflection that it inspires, I have no reservations describing Planescape Torment as interactive literature. Fans of games and fans of good stories alike will find plenty to love here. And this is all without even mentioning the scope and depth of the setting, which will continue to surprise you at every turn throughout the game. It also has that old-school RPG attention to detail, where every corner of every map can be explored down to the finest point. I spent a good two hours poring over every container, examinable object, and conversation in the first two areas without making any significant progress in the main quest. If you don't have nostalgia on your side, as was the case with me, the dated engine can be a little bit of a hurdle at first. But if you stick with it to the point that the game's immersion really suffuses your mind, you'll start seeing the unfolding tale of the nameless one in your mind's eye. And it's an experience worth having. So go check it out. You can get it for a steal on GOG.com at $10. You should also check out the Tweaks Guide linked in the video description to get the best possible experience out of it on a modern machine. It takes about a half hour to set up, and there's some pretty good fan-made improvements. And as always, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this every week. Thanks for watching.